Hi everyone, this is Lawrence at Aerial Technology International, here to introduce to you a groundbreaking new product released by DJI, and that is the DJI's Lightbridge. A revolutionary groundbreaking device, HD video transmission, and we're not talking the kind that go over cell towers, this is actual peer-to-peer -peer communication that you can use to view an HD signal with extremely low latency on a mobile device or a monitor. The two main components of the DJI Lightbridge are our air side, which is our transmitter, and our receiver side, which will be our ground side. Uh, one of the unique features of this device uh, right out of the gate is the structural design of both these pieces. Aluminum, uh, easy to dissipate heat. They're going to withstand a lot more of your use and abuse as you're out in the field uh, working hard. Uh, the connectors here are all uh, locking connectors. The locking connectors are accompanied by a standard USB connection and your HDMI input. Another nice feature of this transmitter air side is removable air antennas. If for some reason you happen to snip this antenna, you can get something to replace readily, uh, readily easily. On the ground side, we have our receiver. Small, lightweight, compact, has a built-in battery. You can also power it externally for longer runs or for recharging. Very simple interface. We have our USB, which will connect to our mobile device. We have an HDMI output for a local monitor. We have a transmit receive port here. Now this is going to be used to hook our radio transmitters up to. So one of the unique features of this device is going to be our ability to actually control the aircraft via the light bridge. One of the many ways that we can view our image is via a Android mobile device or via a monitor with an HDMI input. The nice thing about the Android mobile device is that it gives us an on-screen display, very similar to the Phantom Vision, where we get a lot of telemetry information. We can see you know, where the aircraft's pointing, you know, distance to, to home, our altitude, speeds, radio transmission, uh, all the same features that you're used to with your Phantom Vision. The main benefit of DJI's Lightbridge is going to be its HD video transmission. There's many benefits to getting transmitted high-definition video. A lot of us in the field suffer with composite video and having poor quality image where we can't quite see the detail and may miss the type of shot that we're looking for. So DJI has given us a solution to that <clears throat> and it enables us to then take HD out of the camera and transmit it with a very low latency to our ground receiver. On the receiver side we have a compact unit with a built-in battery it turns on much the same as our Phantom 2, so you're going to go ahead and push that button once and we'll get a battery status indication. We push it again and hold it and we'll go ahead and light up all the lights and the unit will turn on. When we turn on that unit, we'll obviously already have our monitor device working or our Android device working. We use the USB connection to hook up to our mobile device to view the footage or we can hook up using our HD output on the device to play on a monitor. We have the ability as well to view the same transmission source on multiple receivers. So if we want multiple monitors going on at the same time in different locations, we can stream that same footage to multiple receivers on the ground. The only thing is if you're going to be flying the aircraft, there will be only one of these devices that will be able to actually operate the aircraft. Our inputs and outputs on our devices. This device is actually powered through a CAN bus cable. DJI supplies us with a USB cable, power CAN bus connection port. We have a trainer cord hookup that hooks to the receiver for our radio. And then we have some cables that DJI provided to us. If you still want composite or you want to run it through the Mark II IOSD, we still have features where we can run composite to the device as well. And then we have an external battery connector that we can hook up. <coughs> So once we power it and give it CAN bus information, we then are going to hook up directly to our camera with an HDMI cable. DJI has supplied us with multiple different HDMI cables with different adapter fittings on the end that are used to hook to different types of cameras. So for instance, I have a, a micro HDMI I can hook to the mini HDMI port of, let's say, a GoPro, for instance. So picking the right HDMI cable, we go ahead and plug that into the transmitter. This will then go and hook down to the camera and give us our, our video feed. 
One of the best features with the DJI Lightbridge is its range. Out of the box with stock antennas, we can get up to a mile of range. And testing this, that's true. We haven't had much of any kind of breakup or any kind of issue like I see with my composite video transmissions. Amazing footage. We've walked through walls and doors with this thing and it's working great. If, for however, that's not far enough for you, you can also opt for the higher end antennas that can extend the range up to three miles. One of the other advanced features of this device that we've never been able to see before is actually being able to control our aircraft not with just the standard receiver link, but actually through the light bridge. This eliminates the need for receivers and other equipment they may have on board that we normally fly with. This feature makes the system much more streamlined and clean. It, it gets rid of any kind of issue or problem you might find with RF interference going on on the aircraft or that question that all of us rolled around in our head, you know, is this device going to interfere with that device? Um, so streamlining down to one device is a huge leap forward in our ability to interface with this aircraft. Some of the devices right now that we're able to hook up to are going to be the A2 Autopilot, our Wukong M, soon the Phantom 2, and the Ace 1. We'll all be able to interface with these light bridges and we'll be able to get our radio control through the light bridge to our aircraft. Another nice feature of the DJI Lightbridge receiver is its built-in battery. Now you don't have to be out in the field stuck with a bunch of different batteries to power this device. This device will run for a long time on its built-in lithium battery. If that's not enough, however, you can go ahead and hook up 11 to 26 volts to the external power input for it and have unlimited runtime on your receiver end. And at DJI's price point, this device will revolutionize the industry. I'm really looking forward to seeing what our customers can do with this device. Thanks for watching.